In this video, we'll show you how to set up nested do loops within Report Designer. In our example, we have a reg account report. The goal here is to use a detail rule to loop through on the PCS documentation activity. And we want to find all the dates and times when a particular intervention was documented. In this case, we want to use the intervention fall risk. Looking at the code on the screen, we have a very simple do loop in place which loops through all the interventions for the patient. If it's equal to the fall risk intervention, then we want to take the intervention URN and add it to a list that we've created. Our goal then is to create another loop which loops through the list, and then we want to create a nested loop. So within that loop, we also want to loop on the PCS uh, intervention activity log, and that will give us a list of all the dates and times. First thing we want to do to set up our loop is we want to initialize a variable called pause, which is short for position. We want to initialize it to the number zero. Next thing we want to do is set up another variable called len, which is short for length. This will keep track of the number of elements within our list. To loop through our list, we want to set up a do loop with the condition while position is less than length. In order to have a nested loop, it is critical that we have an if statement immediately after the do loop. This is more of a placeholder, so I'm going to set up a condition that will never be true. The if statement that we created will never be true as position will always exist when it gets to this point. This next step is critical to having a nested do loop. After we've closed off the if statement, it is imperative that we add a statement immediately at this point before we end the do loop. Conveniently, this is the perfect spot to increment our position counter. If we didn't include this line, it would result in an infinite loop. It might not seem obvious at this point as to how we insert another do loop within this do loop. Please note that there's five lines of code at the moment, but watch what happens when we file the rule. After filing, you can now see that what was line 5 has now been split into lines 5 and 6. You can now add lines in between lines 5 and 6, and that will be included within the scope of the do loop. The first thing we'll do is we'll insert a line which extracts the intervention URN from our list. Now we'll insert our do loop for looping on the PCS documentation activity. Now we'll add a condition to our do loop so that we only include the activity where documentation was done. For this next line, we'll take the activity date and time and we'll add it to our list. And there you have it. Those are the steps for creating a nested loop. Thanks for watching. Please check out our website for new and updated content. In addition, we also offer report writing services and online training.